that vocal. Oh, hello. There we go. You're right. Welcome back. Hope you had a great Christmas, and I hope we're going to have a, a happy, happy Boxing Day. We've got Stoke at home. Stoke at home. It don't get much trickier than that, does it? They know they're, they're on the same points as us in the table at the minute, but they're a good team on paper. They're a very good team on paper, so I'm not expecting much today. <sighs> I tell you what, it smells lovely in my car today. You know why? Boom! Oh, look at that. Who got that for me? Actually, I got it for myself. Oh, look at that sparkling cinnamon. It don't get much better than that in the Brummie Joe vehicle. I tell you that for free. Oh, I'm excited. I've had a good Christmas. I'm a little bit hungover, as usual. I feel like this whole month I've just been drowning in alcohol and I need to get, I need to get into some sort of fitness regime in the new year. But anyway, before I get started, I just want to give a big shout out to our sponsors, One Football. If you haven't downloaded them yet, why not? Give yourself a free Christmas present. It's a free app. It's good for all your footballing needs. It's great for stats as well. If you love a fun fact like me, get on there. Have a little look. Let me know what you think. Also, I'm thinking about fun facts and stuff. Last time we won at Stoke, Nikola Zigic with a last minute header in 2011. That was the last time we actually played Stoke, apparently. Uh, so that'll be interesting. Hopefully we can have something similar again. And <laughs> you know what? You know what? Omar Bogle, one day he's gonna come on and score the winner somewhere. He's gonna come off his ass or something like that. But he's he's just he's like a new Zigic, but scores less goals. Um, but we'll have to see anyway. Yeah, if you're looking forward to this one, drop a like on the video. It helps me out. Uh, so why not, eh? Why not? Right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's come on. Come on. Come on, Blues. Come on, Blues. My prediction. Hello, Siri. Hello. <laughs> Uh, my prediction is going to be uh, a 1-1 one, one draw, and I would take that massively. I would bite your hand off for it right now. That'll do for now. Let's get right into the video. Come on, you blues! Well, I'm hoping you've had a lot of turkey yesterday. So I'll go for a 2 1 blues win. 2 1 blues win. And we're going to put 4 1, but I changed my mind. 2 1 to the blues. What do you reckon, boys? I think we will win. 2 1. I do think we will win. Very, very positive. This time last year, bottom of the table. Now we're thinking we can. Get a win against Stoke, easy. Even with the buzz deduction, should we get them? We'll still be above the bottom. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Come on, you blue boys! Come on, you blue boys! Do some of women out there! Ah. Yeah. 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 
something special to beat Butland today, and that was it. That was it. Jack McGoldman! Well, Marcus, 1-0 uh, up at half-time and um, look, fully deserved, fully deserved. Could probably be two or three if it weren't for the likes of uh, Jack Butland. We needed something special to beat that keeper and that's exactly what we got with Mags. Are you happy with him? Or? I think we were actually quite lucky. I mean, Lee Camp made a few lucky saves, but yeah, it was a great shot, yeah. yeah. I think the game plan is pretty much perfect at the minute. Putting a lot of pressure on Stoke and uh, soaking up the pressure from them waiting for that moment where we can counter-attack and Chai Adams has looked amazing up front. He's growing in confidence with every single game. Uh, do you think he can get a goal today and uh, how many do you reckon he can get for the season? I hope he can, yeah. Obviously, I hope he gets a goal. But he yeah, has been looking really great up there. I mean, the defenders look quite safe in the distribution. So, yeah, he could nick a goal, yeah, and I think he can get them out. So he gets at least 15 this season. He's already got 11, I think, so... Hopefully, I hope it's 20. But um, yeah, today it's going to be hard. We've been one nil up against Stoke last time. We're actually the last team to beat Stoke, which is weird. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a lot of pressure from them. We probably need a second goal. Uh, but what do you reckon? What's your final score prediction today? I just say they've been on a really good run. I just think it'll be one nil. Hinton, um, brilliant first half. I think game plan executed perfectly what do we need to do in the second half to make sure we walk away with all three points well just more of the same <laughs> i think it's a perfect first half really i mean Stoke, they've been in the game but they look a bit sloppy at the back and uh yeah we've been out of trey adams has been phenomenal yeah yeah only question for me is uh, how long can we keep up this intensity especially when our bench is so weak at the minute um will we need another goal do you think to seal it I think we will because I think they look like they, they look like scoring. I think we just I don't know. We haven't got any options on the bench. I think just Mahoney or Craig Gardner. But you never know what you're going to get with Craig Gardner. He could be great, but we we'll go missing. It's always the, it's always the tough issue. When do you stop going for that second goal and shut up shop? You know, last time we scored very late, lot, very very late on. Um, I just hope we don't do it too early. We've seen it happen before. We've, we've shut up shop too early, and it's just. They've had too much time to get back into the game. You don't want to soak up all that pressure because as soon as they get one, then they'll go and get a second. So you just got to have more of the same. I think I feel like scoring early. You want your goal, but I'd have rather it come a bit later so you can yeah. you can hold out. But just more of the same, and then we hopefully they can't score. Cheers, mate. Full time prediction. One nil, hopefully, but. I'm saying that at half time, so it'll be 3 1, and then I'll look stupid on the blog again. Oh, wow. Keep it on, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pressure on. I would have took a draw before. It's going to feel like an eternity this half. I feel like if they get one as well, they'll get a few. This is what worries me. We need to have that threat on the counter. We can't, we can't just sit back. We can't just sit back, can we?
Replacing number 38, Ryan Woods. <laughs> number 9, Benick Afonso. Oh, fuck it out. Peter Crouch. <laughs> Dragging on by a friend at the minute. We need a second goal. Do something here. Max, shoot! Have a go! And again! Have a go! Never! Oh, Max! Oh, that was a great chance. That was a great chance. What long punch is it out? Loses the ball in the air. Tight right and local goal, you can't put it in. So, it? But we need another goal. Hit the pressure on. Oh, yeah. Someone's fighting. Huh? Someone's fighting. There we go. There we go, Max. Run! Max! He's out! Oh! Jay Adams in the box! Jay Adams in the box! He's on, he's on, he's on! Come on! Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Jay Adams, mate! Gotta get through! Oh!
looks good that. What an unbelievable game, honestly. I can't put it into words, but Butland was brilliant today. I think Blues were amazing, but I thought Butland's having a really good game. It's going to be hard to get past him, and it would have took a couple of screamers, you know, some really good goals to actually beat him today, and that's exactly what happened. But what I did not expect was for one of them screamers to come from Omar over the bar, Bogle. So, Bogle, I take everything back that I ever said to you. I'm sorry. I love you, Bogle. Please understand. But what a win. What a win for Blues. Like, I, I can't believe it. This is one of the best games that I've been to in a while, especially at home. We had pretty much a sellout crowd. The Jill Merrick upper sold out as well. Um, it was just proper Blues. It felt like when we were bracketing the Premier League, Lee was saying as well, it's just a real proper game and you know it took a lot of grit from blues today to uh to stop them and credit to credit to every single player on the pitch um including including lee camp as well lee camp made some good saves early on kept it nil nil and it really looked like you know when dean had that header saved you thought oh it's just don't know if it's gonna be our day but saying that the entire game uh, I felt like we were competing well, even when we were 1-0 and we could have caved and gone very, very defensive. We didn't. We kept pushing. We pushed for a second goal and that's exactly what we got and what a strike. What a strike, man. But, Jesus Christ. Jesus. I don't even know what to say. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, make sure you drop a like, a comment, subscribe and share if you're on Facebook. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Keep bright on.